Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Art. My name is Manuel Cafo and I'm very excited to be with you guys again. And I would like to welcome all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for finding my stuff interesting. Um, it's a good encouragement to me to keep doing what I do. So today what we'll be doing is basically I'll be showing you three um, techniques that you can use to add buttons to clothes and this technique can also work for adding accessories accessories to your objects that you want to rig um yeah so let's jump in and start so i have just a representation of a clothes um, with a button that we'll be trying to use for this example so i've gone ahead and read it so that's what we have so now what we want to do is to enable these buttons to follow the cloth as it moves. So the first method, um, let's just jump right into it. So the first method is um, I will just hide this cloth rig. So uh, what we want is we want this button to follow the vertices, um, the vertices, the vertices around this area. Okay. So for that, we need to create a um, vertex group for that. I'll just turn off my annotation. Um, so let's create a vertex group. So this is the area we need to worry about that is um, around the button area. So in the vertex group, I've already worked on this before, I'll just delete it. So we'll just hit new and then select the areas that you can see. Um, you can see the button there and I will just call this B1 for button one and assign. And I'm going to also do it for this area. So for this area, we don't have much vertices, but we have a single edge that's closest to the button. So for that, I'm going to assign B2 for button to assign. And likewise here, we just have an edge. So let's do that again. We'll set this to B3 assign. And finally, here we have a face. So this would be B4 for button four. Oh, okay. So assign. So now we have everything basically set up. We can check in the vertex paint and you can see how it looks. Sorry, in the weight paint. We can see how the influences look like. Okay, now what we want to do is just basically select this uh, button, go to the constraint tab and add the copy um, location constraint and then just select the check model and for the vertex we want to set it to b1 so with that set up when i move this bone you can see it follows along right now and possibly you could add rotation if it's necessary so you can repeat that for the let's try to just repeat it for the rest um, so copy rotation um, location you select the object b2 and everything is set so you can see it's working um, so let's jump into the next step for create, um, achieving this um, so for that we need an empty um, so we can easily generate the empty if we go into the edit mode of you can generate the empty of course by adding it here um, create empty but what I'm trying to do is to use and to generate an empty as a hook so I can easily go into the edit mode of the um, of the button and so for this you can actually combine all the bone into one object so it's your scene looks more um, cleaner so you can actually make it one object and then you go into and press ctrl h h as in for horse or for house um, so you select hook to new object so this is going to create an empty so for organization purposes i uh, will just name this b1 for button one okay so this empty is going to be able to control this single button and now for it to uh, work with the clothes uh, what we need to do is to select the empty shift select the um, clothes model pop into edit mode and let's bring up our vertex mode select and what we want to do is just select three vertices and press ctrl p for parent and now we'll just make it vertex parent and now once we move this you can see it works perfectly and then you see have an extra control with the empty to move this around 
Yeah, so um, let's try to repeat that once more. So sorry about that. Um, so we can select this button, Control H, hook to new object. So it's gonna add an empty. Selecting the empty, we shift select the clothes inside the edit mode. You can select two, probably make that as parents. So it said you can you either select one or you select three. So we need to select three. So just select randomly. As long as the influence is close enough to the button, you'll be fine. So make parent and we are all set. We can move this too. And it works. So that's the second method. Um, let's quickly go to the final method. So this method is it's really powerful, but um, really quite unreliable, especially for big production. Um, it can work, um, but you have to um, pass the information that you're using this uh, modifier because. Um, if someone you're working with don't have idea of this modifier, it wouldn't. Um, it might you might run into destruct a uh, lot of problems along the way. So I'm gonna show you that. So how to use this final trick is basically you. It's called the surface default modifier, and you set the targets to the shirt and bind it. So with that, uh, once I move this automatically, the whole button moves along with it even more precisely. You even get some deformations, and it's quite awesome. So, um, some things you should bear in mind. Um, since this is mod, this is a modifier, and the surface deform um, works with the um, modifier. So, anything that changes really affects this um, surface deform modifier. For example, if I'm to add a sub um, subdivision surface, <laughs> if I'm to add a subdivision modifier, um, it works. For example. Okay, so but if I like put this above it, you say it doesn't work. So uh, most of the times, any little thing can really mess it up. And also, let's say I delete this and add a subdivision modifier here, it's probably um, you get some errors. So this is very tricky to work with. That's if you're working with a big production, you have to let everyone know. Um, along the pipeline that you're using this modifier and they should be aware of it. Um, if not, you get some errors during render time. So apart from that, it's a, quite, it's a really handy uh, modifier. Um, you, you could check it out. Um, so that's everything. Um, that's the whole technique I, I can think of that you can use to um, bind accessories with your uh, models. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more from me, of course, you should hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on that bell so you can get jingled anytime. Uh, <laughs> well, that sounded weird. So you can get notified anytime I post something new. So thank you guys again. Bye bye for now.